Well, a beard, that's a sign of a man, you know, a warrior. Uh, Germanic tribes back in the day had the big flowing beards. The Celtic tribes, when they went to war, you know, mangy, gritty. So that's what we aspire to be on the O-line. You know, we're, we're the men of the team, and we got our big burly beards coming out there. And uh, I think it gives us a warrior power as we, we go into the games. You know, it makes us feel manly and tough and invincible. It's kind of like one of those things like the Red Sox did when they won the World Series. They all grew beards. So they thought it, was like a, it was like a magical thing because they figured that as long as they kept the beer, they're going to keep on winning. So I guess it's kind of like that. It all starts with family, man. We're all family. You can identify us. We'll be there for the team and uh, we'll just do our best for them and have that good camaraderie. The, the, the best beard or the most impressive beard? Like, how's that competition going on? Uh, I don't know if it's really a competition, you know. Like, Otto's got the longest beard and then uh, I'd say Bruce is probably the most majestic. But uh, Frank just looks like an animal out there. Like a warrior. But let's say somebody gets to a certain length or a certain point. Is there any way you guys kind of keep track of uh, who's doing well? Well, it's usually just through compliments. Like your beard's looking nice today, you know, or sometimes we'll comb them out and see who's the, is the longest, you know. Some people have different styles of hair. There's curly and straight, and um, there's really no way to measure it, but the bigger your beard is, the more compliments you get, and the better you feel, the better you play.